you're looking to create a presentation quickly, easily, and still have it look really good, I've got you covered. I'll guide you through the entire process on how to build and present your slides using Canva. Let's start with the most important part and sometimes can be the hardest part, which is building the presentation. So we're gonna go to canva.com and this is exactly what I use to build out all of the slide decks for my live streams at Think Media. Now they've added in a ton of new features that really make this process so much easier and make your slide decks look so much more professional. I'm no pro at graphic design, so using Canva for me really has been a lifesaver. And on top of that, Canva has decided to sponsor this video. And if you wanna try out the pro version, which is what I'm using, there is a special offer. Check the link down in the description for more info. Now to start making your presentation, there's a few different ways to do this. One of the easiest ways is to just click on this presentation 16 by nine. This is the right aspect ratio that we want. Now when you open that up on the left hand side, you can see that we have templates ready to go. We can also search for a certain theme that we're looking for, but I like to just sometimes scroll through these and find which one pops out to my eye and which one I like. And if there's nothing I really like here, sometimes what I'll do is go to that search bar. Maybe I'll type in something like social media, and I'll type that in and now there's a bunch of different social media options that I can choose from. Now once you find one that you like all you have to do is click on the presentation and this is going to add in all the different page options that you can use to build out your deck as simply as possible. If you just want to use all 11 pages simply hit this button and this is going to add all of those down here into your presentation for you or if you'd rather just build them out one slide at a time which is sometimes what I like to do is you can click on one page at a time. So let's say I want to use this as my opening slide and maybe I'll change the text here in a minute. And then my next slide, I'm just going to add a page. And then when this is selected, I maybe want to use the bullet points down here instead of this one. So I'll click on this. And now I can simply just go in, add a new page and find the exact slides I want to use. Now, before we go in and actually customize all of the presentation, I want to show you another really cool option that has saved me a ton of time. And this is a new feature that they added. So if you go over to Magic Studio, when you click on this, you're going to see that they have a bunch of new AI tools that they have recently added. And one of them is called Magic Design for Presentations. And this is super, super cool. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works right here. So when you click on this, all you have to do is type in a few words, and this is going to really just do the rest of the work for you. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to try it. Magic design. This is going to open up a brand new presentation. Now, when this page opens up, it's going to give you more instructions on how to do this. Basically, all you need to do is go up here into the search bar. You're going to add in your prompt and then you can choose on what kind of presentation you want to go with. So in this prompt, I have tips for starting a new YouTube channel in 2024. And this is going to be the topic of my presentation. So that's what you wanna put into the search bar is whatever it is you're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna hit enter. Now this top layer right here is going to load some of the AI designs that it thinks we should use for this presentation. And you can see right here, it says starting a YouTube empire starting YouTube 2024. So it's already got some titles for us. And if we click this arrow, we can check out a few more of these. And they look really, really cool. And I'm just gonna choose the one that I like the most. To be honest, I really like this one. So I'm just going to click on that. And now we have pages that we can work from. So if I want to apply all seven pages, like I showed you earlier, we can do that. So now we basically have a head start on our presentation and it's already putting in certain YouTube tips for us. And so there's already a lot of cool slides in here that we can start to work off of. And maybe this isn't perfect. Of course, it's not going to be because it's not the content we want to put in. But this is such a great head start that you can use if you're in a rush. You don't have a ton of time to build out slides. This is actually looks really good and it's already got some information in there that I can start to put out on my own now. Now, if you've never used Canva, it's very, very easy to make your presentations look very good. I want to show you a few things that I like to do to make it even easier. So for example, if you want to hit a new page, you can add that right here and add in a new slide. Or what I like to do is click on maybe a slide that I want to duplicate. I'll then hit command D and that's going to duplicate it. I'll then bring it to where I want in the slide deck. And then from here, I can go in, I can change the text to whatever I'd like. And then I just like to copy and paste and maybe move some of the text around from slide to slide. 
Now you can also do this with text or elements. So if you click on a text box right here and I hit command C, that's going to copy it. And then I'm gonna click on the slide I want to paste it on. I'll hit command V. And now I have that same text, same font, all of that on this slide as well. And this is also gonna work if I wanna select these design elements. I can hold down shift and select multiple at once. Command C, move over here, command V. And then I can still move these around if I wanna move it over here instead. It's very easy to select something and delete it. And this makes it really easy. So if you don't know how to copy and paste things over, that's gonna save you a ton of time. Now, if you wanna add in new elements, new text boxes, stuff like that, on the far left-hand side, you're gonna have elements over here. We'll have shapes, you're gonna have different graphics. We could add in a little checkbox, maybe move that over here to YouTube Journey, and that looks really good just like that. Also, text, if you wanna add in a new text box, you can just hit add a text box like that, and you can change the size of it. You can go up here to change the font. You can also go to effects, and this is gonna give you a lot more options if you wanna add in a shadow, or if you want to add in maybe a neon color to it, you can do all of that within the effects. Another really cool new feature that Canva has added is under apps. If you go here and you type in magic media, you're going to see this new tool over here. So I'm going to click on this and now we have text to image. And let's say I want to do YouTube logo floating in the sky. I'm then just going to hit enter. And now the AI is basically going to take my prompt and make an image for me that I can use in my presentation. Boom, and the AI is done. And we have four different options to choose from. And you can just choose the one that you like the most. But I like this one, so I'm just gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna move this over here. This is just a cool image that would have took me a while to actually make in like Photoshop or something. And the fact that AI did this in a few seconds is pretty cool. A lot of you are going to want to use photos in your presentations. And so something you can do is actually just drag these photos over here into Canva. And this is going to upload them. And then once they're uploaded, all you have to do is click on it and that's going to add it to your slide. From here, we can move things around, rescale it. I'm going to move it like this. But here's a really, really cool feature that Canva just added that really makes one of my favorite features even better. That feature that is one of my favorites is the background remover. And so in the past, all you have to do is click on background remover, and this will perfectly cut you out of the background. Now, this is a very hard image to cut the background out of because it's so dark. It kind of blends in with my jacket. But look how good it did with that. And so all I need to do now is rescale this and this looks super, super good. Now I said they actually made this better. So we're gonna go back to edit photos. There's a few more tools that make this amazing. So one of them is the magic expand tool. Basically you just expand your image and then the AI is going to fill in all of this border where there was no image before. All you need to do is hit magic expand and then the AI is just gonna expand your image for you. And boom, it is done like this is insane to me. This is a really, really cool tool. And the fact that you can do this in Canva blows my mind. Okay, so now there's four different options. You can see right here, there's a little bit of a red circle, which we don't want in the image. And so if we check out the other options, we can see that there are four different options. And my favorite, probably is this one right here. So I'm gonna select this one and this is gonna be our image. And now it gets even better. So go back to edit photo. And now what we can do is instead of just erasing the background, what we wanna do is the magic grab tool. And this thing is actually crazy. So let me move this text over just a little bit. And now I'm gonna click on the photo and I'm gonna go back to magic grab. And you're gonna let this thing load. And now this works very similarly to the background remover, except it keeps the background in place, but allows you then to move the object around that is in the shot. So now that it's done loading, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. I move this image and now I still have this background image and the AI actually filled in all the background space where I was before. And now I can move myself around in this image if I'd like to, I can move myself off this image, I can move this around. This is just a really, really cool feature that Canva has added. Probably one of my favorites and I just love how simple it is and how well it works. And after just moving a few things around, this slide looks absolutely amazing and this usually would have took so much time to do and it would have took multiple different AI tools and different softwares just to bring this all together. And I just did all of it in seconds in Canva. Now, if you're loving these AI tools, I wanna show you the magic edits because this one is pretty trippy. So all you need 
need to do is cover a part of the image you wanna change. And for example, let's say it's my white shirt. I'm gonna hit continue. And then from here, I'll type in, maybe I just want a black shirt. And then I'll hit generate. Now everything's gonna be black, it's gonna be slick. And from here, it actually changed my shirt. So now you can see I'm wearing a black shirt, AI generated. There's a few different options here. The gray, honestly, looks pretty good. But I'm gonna go with the black shirt. I'm gonna hit continue. And now I'm wearing a black shirt. I don't know, kind of cool. Now, if you want to add in cool animations from one slide to the next, it's super easy. Just go up here to the animate slide, make sure you're on design. And then from animate, there's this magic animate button. And this is going to instantly apply perfectly suited animations and transitions. And so that way, what you could do is go through one by one and choose the one that you want. But here it says recommended style. And so we're just going to go ahead and hit digital. If you like it, you can keep it or you can check out the other styles it recommends. I like this one more but I'm gonna check out a few of them. I think my favorite was this one, the bold. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit bold. And now all of my designs are going to have these animations. So now as I present and I go from slide to slide, there is a really cool animation going from one to the next. That one was super slick. So once your presentation is good to go and you're ready to record the video of you going through the presentation, you can do this inside of Canva super easily. All you need to do is go over here to uploads. And then from here, you're gonna hit record yourself. Now, if you haven't allowed permission yet, make sure you click allow permission to use your microphone and your camera. And now from here, you can move yourself around wherever you'd like to be, and then you can hit record. Once you hit save and exit, this is gonna add the videos to each slide for you. And now you can download this as a video. So you're gonna wanna go to share, and then you're gonna want to go to download. And instead of saving this as a PDF, this would be like a normal slide presentation. We actually want to export this as an MP4 video. So click on that. Then here you can change the quality to whatever you'd like. 1080 is gonna be perfectly fine for us. Make sure all your pages are selected. And then all you need to do is hit download. Then from here, once all of your videos are done uploading to Canva, it's gonna download that video for you. 